Excerpts of the Jesuits' Relations. Extract of the Algonquin, the Call. Speech against the Christian faith. I learned that your village is moved by the discourses of the black gowns, that several have already received baptism, that a large number desire it, and that you yourselves lend ear to discourses that, in sooth, charm them all, and that you yourselves lend ear to discourses that, in sooth, charm them at first. I have been among the French at Quebec and at the Three Rivers. They have taught me the very substance of their doctrine. I know everything about matters of the faith, but the more I fathom their mysteries, the less clearly did I see. They are fables invented to inspire us with real fear of an imaginary fire and in the false hope of good that can never come to us. We involve ourselves in inevitable dangers. I do not speak without having had experience of it. Some years ago, you saw the Algonquins in such numbers that we were the terror of our enemies. Now, we are reduced to nothing. Disease has exterminated us. War has decimated us. Famine pursues us wherever we go. It is the faith that brings this misfortune upon us. That you may no doubt that what I say is true. When I went down to Quebec two years ago to see what have been the result of the faith of the Mountainese and the Algonquins who have received baptism, it is the faith that brings these misfortunes upon us. I was shown a house full of one-eyed, lame, crippled, and blind persons, of fleshless skeletons, and of people who all carry death on their countenances. Such are the ebonage of the faith. That is the house that they esteem he spoke of the hospital built near Quebec for the sick. Those are the people upon whom they fawn, because to resolve to be a Christian is to resign oneself to all those miseries. Besides that, one must expect to be no longer lucky, either in fishing or in hunting.